number 3-94, it says express the given series using sigma notation. Then evaluate the sums with a calculator or by hand. Hmm, okay, so we got to use that um, sigma notation. So I wrote these on a separate paper. And so what I did is I wrote them, I just wrote the terms down. I noticed there was five terms. I like to start um, counting my terms, you know, one, two, three, like that. Um, sometimes I can't, and I have to start, I have to go zero, one, two, three, four, like that. But on this one, I'm going to try. If it doesn't work out, I'll change it. So what I do is I look and I try to figure out what, like what kind of a series is it? And we remember from last year, or maybe we don't remember, um, there's arithmetic series and there's geometric series. Um, this one seems to be adding the same amount every time. So that's an arithmetic series. That means it's linear. So, and I'll just write a little note about that. The um, arithmetic um, series is linear. It's adding. Adding. Okay. So if we're adding, we're going to, so we start out, we just make this um, little sigma sign. And then you always just put, you can use the letter K or some other letter, but whatever letter you use here, you want to use it here also. So you put your letter and then you decide what you're going to count by. Um, you're either going to start with a one or a zero and you're going to count the terms. Um, like I said, I always like to try one. And if it doesn't work, I'll just cross it out and go zero to four. And then since I know this is linear, I know the slope or the amount it's adding each time is four. So you know like y equals mx plus b? This is, um, the slope is 4. Maybe there's no B. Because can't I just do this with no B? I can go, um, this term is 4 times, if these are X's up here, this term is 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 4. So I can generate the terms by just going 4 times the term number. So that's why, and so that tells me that the first term, I would plug the one in right there and I'd get my four. So I know I can, I can do that. And then I just added them up. Like I just did them like, I know 20 plus four. Oh wait, no, how did I do that? Oh, I did 16 plus four is 20 plus that other 20 is 40. And then these two also make 20. So that's 60. So you can add them up how you want. Okay, this one's a little different. This one, normally I would just count by ones, um, but I see that this is not adding. This is actually multiplying. It's going one times two is two, two times two is four. So this one is uh, geometric. Um, and it is, exponential okay it is multiplying it has a common ratio and I know we haven't talked about this this year but you might remember from last year so this is multiplying by 2 the multiplier is 2 and we know that um, Exponential stuff is like y equals a times b to the x. b is the multiplier. I can see my multiplier. It's 2. Every time I look to the next term, I'm multiplying by 2. I might not have an a, or a might be 1, or a might be 0. So that's the thing is i got to figure out. Um, I already, you can see I already wrote it here, but. If I try doing this, counting this as like one, two, three, four, five, if I try counting the terms like that, then if my multiplier is two, two to the one would give me two. 
and I can't have that because this first term is one. So I'm instead of counting them that way, I'm going to say this is the zeroth term, this is the first term, this is the second term, this is the third term, four, fifth. Is that messy enough? So I'm going to actually go from the zeroth to the fifth term, and then I just check it and make sure that it works. So you're kind of like, you look at it, you see if it's adding or multiplying, and then you um, try to find out how you can generate the terms. Like, you know that if it's adding, you're going to get arithmetic, it's going to be linear. And if you're multiplying, you're going to have um, exponential. And then you just look, okay, well, can I get a 1 if I just use this, 2 to the k? 2 to the 0 is 1. And then when I plug in 1 here, that's 2 to the 1, so that works. 2 to the 2 gives me 4, 2 to the 3 gives me 8, 2 to the 4 gives me, so this, so I know that works, and then I can um, add them up, I think I just added them up, like I went 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 4 is 7, plus 8 is 15, plus 16 would be 31, and 31 plus 32 would be 63, so I just added them up, you could use a calculator if you wanted to. Um, and then here's the last one. So now that we know all the things we know, we look at it and we say, what is it doing? Is it adding or multiplying? Um, this one looks like it's adding by 2. So I know that it is going to kind of be like y equals mx plus b because it's arithmetic. It's going to be linear. m is the slope. So maybe I can get away with just y equals 2x or maybe I have to add something to it. I want to try to start with, um, let this be my first term if I can. Um, and actually that does work because two times one does give me two. If that's the second term, third, fourth, I don't know what term. Oh, we do know what term it is because I think in the book it gave told us um, to the hundredth. So that's the hundredth term. So we're going to start at 1. Because I see I can check them. Like, is 2 times 3, 6? Yes. Is 2 times 4, 8? So I'm going to say that. Don't say x. Say k. And then I know, I think I know a shortcut, if I remember right, um, a shortcut from last year, I can make these pairs. I can go like. The first one plus the last one um, adds up to 202. The second term plus the second last one, well, this would be, I think, um, the second last one would be 180, I think. Wait, no, 100, oh, 198. Isn't it just adding two? Yeah, 198. Is 198 plus 4, what is that? It's 202. So I don't know if I, how far I have to go to convince you, but all these pairs add up to 202. And so I guess I can go... Well, I mean, you could add them up on a calculator. That would be bad, though. So let's see, how did this thing go again? So how many do we have? We have 100 take away, I think there's 99 over two pairs, 99 divided by two. I think there's 49 and a half pairs and each pair um, adds up to 202. So if I can multiply that together, 49 and a half, I hope this works. From 1 to 100. How about 50 times 202? There we go. So, sorry, there's 50 pairs. 
And so you'll have to think about that. If we start at one and we go to 100, um, how many pairs are there? So 50 times 202, that's 10100. Sorry about that. That is the total. Or you can add them all up one by one if you want to. I hope that's messy enough for you.